How can you compare and convert customary units of weight? In this lesson, you will learn how to convert different units of weight in the customary system. So with our customary system, we've learned how to work with length and capacity, and the last one we're going to look at is weight. So in weight, during the cust in the customary system, we use three different measurements, ounces, pounds, and tons. So there are 16 ounces in one pound and 2,000 pounds in one ton. The process of converting customary units of weight, whether we have to multiply or divide depending on if we're changing from bigger units to smaller units, is just the same. We're just using different weight equivalencies, but the process is still the same. So let's look at this problem. It says that Carlos used 32 ounces of walnuts in a muffin recipe. How many pounds of walnuts did Carlos use? Well, if we go through, we'll see that he has 32 ounces of walnuts, and he wants to change it into pounds. Now we're looking for how many pounds. That'll be an equivalency problem, so we're just going to convert. It means that we're changing from ounces into pounds. So well, how many ounces do we have? We have 32 ounces. And if we're changing from ounces to pounds, ounces are smaller than pounds, which means that we're going to have to divide since we're changing from a smaller unit to a larger unit. So we have 32 total ounces. We're going to divide that by the number of ounces there are in a pound. There are 16 ounces in a pound. And then we'll just set it up. So you have 32 divided by 16. Long division problem. I can just keep adding here. I don't know my 16 times tables, so let's kind of just use repeated addition. So 16, 32. Oh, there we go. So 16 times 2 is 32. Take the difference here, we're left with 0, which means that 32 divided by 16 is going to give us exactly 2 pounds. How many pounds of walnuts did Carlos use? He used 2 pounds if he had 32 ounces. All right, now it's your turn. We're comparing five pounds to 79 ounces. So at this point in time, pause the problem and try to solve by yourself. Resume when you're ready to check your answer. All right, so we're comparing pounds to ounces. There are two different ways we can work here. We're going to See, we have pounds. We're going to compare that to 79 ounces. We can either change pounds to ounces or ounces to pounds. Either way will give us the right answer. I'm going to personally convert pounds into ounces Because if I'm changing from a larger unit to a smaller unit, I'm going to have to multiply. Multiplying is going to be easier since there are 16 ounces in a pound. Multiplying 5 by 16 is going to be easier than dividing 79 by 16. So again, I'm changing from pounds to ounces. I want to keep this number the same because I want to change this to make the units the same. Since this is in pounds, this is in ounces. We can't have a full picture of what's heavier until we can get them in the same unit. So I'm going to take 5 pounds. I'm going to multiply that by the number of ounces there are in a pound. There are 16 ounces in 1 pound. So we have 16. 5 times 6 is 0, carry 3, or 30, sorry. 5 times 6 is 30. Put a 0 down below, carry the 3. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 3 is 8. We're left with 80. 
So how many ounces equal to 5 pounds? There are 80 ounces. So if we were to rewrite this, we'll take this and I'll color code that, change that to yellow. So instead of saying 5 pounds, we can now compare this better, say 80 ounces. is greater than 79 ounces. Here's something to keep in mind. We have looked at three different measurement systems in the customary system. We have looked at weight, capacity, and length. Now you'll notice the equivalences for each system is going to be different. And you'll also notice here when we look at capacity, versus weight, we have fluid ounces here and ounces here. An important thing to notice, an important thing to keep in mind is that 8 fluid ounces is equal to 1 cup, 16 dry ounces is equal to 1 pound. So we want to make sure that we're not going to confuse the two. Fluid ounces are specifically for capacity, and they can only be converted into cups right now. 16 ounces is for weight. So again, the last thing we want to do is think that 16 fluid ounces equals 1 cup, or that 8 ounces equals 1 pound. Both of these are wrong. So in this lesson, you have learned how to compare and convert customary units of weight.